Nikki. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. Today's video, as you can tell by the title, we are going to be doing a review. We're doing a review today and I'm honestly really excited about this one. Ever since that this was announced from that brand, I've wanted to try it. I'm going to pull up the details now so that we can learn about the product together and see if we like her. So today, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be reviewing the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. I absolutely love their putty line. Um, I use their putty primer like it's nobody's business. I almost forgot to use it today, actually. How terrible of me, but I'm excited. They do have putty blushes, which I haven't tried yet, but if you guys want me to and like do a review, let me know down below and I will. But the new hot topic is their putty bronzers. They have argan oil and vitamin E. They're um, free of phthalates. I don't even know, parabens, all of the things, okay? And they're vegan and cruelty free. They give skin a natural sun kissed glow. Their unique putty to powder formula with a semi matte finish. Highly pigmented, buildable color. We'll see. Smooths and evens out your complexion. Lightweight, non greasy wear, enriched with vitamin E and argan oil, and great for all skin types, which I think is important. So I have already prepped my skin. We're going to get into it. So I've used the Cetaphil Daily Facial Moisturizer with Broad Spectrum SPF 15. And I also used the uh, First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Firming Collagen Cream. So for primer, I'm going to go into the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, which is my fave. Fave primer of all time. They also do have their new Acne Fighting version. Um... I've used the, their original formula of like the blemish control, but I may pick it up and do a review on it, but I really love this original formula. I like don't even want to like think of replacing it. All right. So the skin is prepped. I'm going to go ahead and apply my foundation and concealer and then I'll come back to you guys when we're ready to apply our putty bronzer, which I'm so excited about. Um, for reference, I'm just going to use the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 in shade 06 Sand Beige. Am I correct? Yes, ma'am. And I'm going to use my Marc Jacobs Caffeine Shot Concealer in shade Light 140. I'm back. I have my foundation and my concealer, hence why I look a little crazy, okay, with the concealer. But we are now ready for our cream bronzer. So this is what it looks like. It retails for $6. I got the shade Bronze Bell. I don't know if it's going to be a little too deep for me, but I think it's going to be fine, especially because it's something that you can build up. So if I want it to be a deeper contour, I can. If I want it to be lighter, I can, but we'll see. I was going to get another shade too, but we'll see. So this is what it comes like, just like their putty packaging. I love it. It's so cute. So let's just, let's just get right into it. This is what it looks like. And this is her on the inside. I'm going to take the end of my e.l.f. Duo complex or Complexion Duo brush. And I'm going to use that to kind of grab the product and sculpt it. See, that didn't even come out as deep as I envisioned it would in a good way, though. First thoughts, it's very creamy on the skin, um, and it's going on really, really well. I like it so far. It doesn't have a crazy scent to it, and it's really easy to work with, as you can tell. I'm going to take just this e.l.f. 105 brush, and I'm going to use that to blend out the cream contour. It's very easy to work with so far, so. It's blending out super easily with my foundation. Um, it literally blended just right into the skin with the pigment. It just kind of blended in and is, it isn't creating harsh lines. This is pretty. This is really, really pretty. Okay. I also like how I put it on my nose and it didn't give me a harsh um, nose contour because I really don't like harsh nose contours. But it really goes on so beautifully and it... Blends out so nicely that it really is a buildable formula. You can go for that everyday, natural, subtle, bronzy look. 
or if you really want to do like an intense contour you can do that as well and i like this because you saw how i looked prior you know i had my highlighting concealer on so she looked a little crazy but i feel like it just brought that perfect warmth into the skin it's not too deep it doesn't look muddy and it blended really nicely with the products that i used which were the milani um two in one perfect foundation and the marc jacobs caffeine shot and as you can tell like there's no harsh line nothing this is pretty i actually really really like this so far but i'm gonna finish off my makeup first and then i'm gonna go ahead and tell you what i think so i'm gonna go into my fenty beauty powder to kind of just set everything like underneath the eyes and such And the skin also looks like glowy, but in like a very healthy, nice summer glow. My skin doesn't look too oily. It looks like the perfect amount of glow, but I'm a matte girl, so I'm going to ruin it. No. I'm going to go in with my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder to set the rest of the skin. I really want to see how the bronzer kind of reacts with this too, because I love putting this over my cream contours or cream bronzers so that i can go over it with the powder and it not be too harsh so we'll see but it just brought like look i feel like my skin looks very even now like you see the clear highlight contour but it doesn't look crazy it's the perfect shade and i think they made um quite the amount of shades well they have five shades so i think the deepest is sun kissed and the lightest is tan lines so i mean yeah and see because i saw them all in person um they all have a really a nice deep tint to it which i like so it's really gonna work for every skin so i do hope that maybe they'll expand it a bit um for the deeper ranges because of course we have you know um, I don't think Sunkiss is going to be deep for the deepest of skin tones, but um, it's still a pretty deep shade, so I'm, I'm happy about that. So yeah, I'm going to go in with my Kylie Bronzer and Tawny Mommy. I'm going to use this as some shadow to bring in some warmth into the eyes because she's looking a little naked. My favorite powder bronzer, like the shade and everything, so the fact that they go hand in hand together... I'm obsessed. But did you guys see how well that blended in with my everyday items? Like, that's what makes me really happy, is the fact that it blended in so well with my everyday makeup items. I think I'm gonna add some blush too. I'm gonna do the e.l.f. I'm gonna stick with e.l.f. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. and Jen Atkin palette. This is medium to deep. I'm gonna take the blush shade in there and kind of just add it to the apples of the cheek. Give myself a little blush like I'm, I'm blushing, you know? I'm, you're making me blush. I'm gonna use a little bit of the highlight shade too, right on top of that, to kind of give myself a glow i didn't do my eyebrows today because i am gonna go get my eyebrows done and there's no point in me doing them so we're gonna have to see them look kind of horrid okay um but don't judge me okay i'm using my urban decay lash perversion i'm just finishing up everything now I feel like I look like I just stepped off of the beach and I have a nice healthy tan and glow like I look good I look like I'm happy I'm trying to describe I'm trying to describe the vibes so you catch the vibes that I'm feeling you know this is Mac chestnut and I love this Use this Morphe shade and called and called Morphe shade called Virgin. That's a really pretty combo. Hold on. That's 
very pretty. Huh. I was iffy about this shade, side note, but I feel like it looks good with the look because it gives me like a cute blushed pink nude. I did something today. Guys, this is what I'm looking like today. Am I slaying or what? Okay, so we've applied everything else on the skin and now it's time for my final thoughts. I absolutely love the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. Such a great formula and it blends so well um, with your everyday foundation and concealer. That's what I really like. I like to see that in a product that I can incorporate into my everyday routine because that's what I'm looking for essentially when I go in and buy a new product. So the fact that it blended in so well with everything, it was almost the same tone. It was basically the same tone as my Tawny Mommy. Um, it looks deeper in the pan but it does come off a bit more sheer but I think that's because... Um, you can build it, which I don't mind. So I like the fact that I have control instead of it coming and being just one big blob on the skin, whether it's too light, too deep, too red, too cool, too neutral. So I like that you kind of have control over that. I love that. And I think that it's a really good product to use um, with their complexion duo brush because I use the concealer side of the brush and I use that to kind of apply it especially like with my hair and everything I just wanted to apply it like in the precise areas and it did an amazing job and blending it out so if you get the putty bronzer you should definitely get the complexion duo brush because you have a foundation brush and concealer slash contour brush on the other end um but I absolutely love this product I think I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 it's beautiful all of my products sat well on it nothing is patchy on the skin everything looks good and I have to say I'm very impressed I didn't expect anything less because I really do like their putty line like I said you guys see I use their poreless putty like it's my bestie like I, I I love it I'm with her all the time I bring her every with me everywhere with me we talk about our day like this is my girl so I really do like this and I love the look that I did it was just something simple and all I did was use my bronzer and my crease and I just did a nice blushed nude lip but I think it looks really really good but all in all I do love this putty bronzer I definitely recommend it for you and I think it's good for all skin types too like they stated because it doesn't come off too oily either so if you do have more of an oily skin um, I think that this is gonna be fine for you actually so I'm happy. I hope you guys enjoyed. You guys let me know down below if you guys have tried it out yet and how you guys feel about it because I absolutely love it and I'm excited to see their putty line like ex expand. I know that they have the putty blushes. Kind of iffy about that because I mean if it's the same formula as this then I'm sure I'll like it but with cream blushes I feel like I don't have as much control. I feel like I'm gonna look like just a red clown on my face but if you guys want me to try them or I should do a full face with like the whole putty line, let me know down below because I'd absolutely love to. I may pick up, I may or may not pick up their new acne fighting poreless putty primer, but I don't know. I love this one. Like why would I, don't, don't fix what's not broken, right? I don't know. But you guys let me know down below your thoughts. Don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Shouldn't be no hold up, roll up If I lost the motion, show up If you're down to roll up Leave me on the west side, burn me